Welcome to another machine learning tutorial. Today we are going to talk about automatic feature selection. So what do I mean by automatic uh, feature selection? In the last few tutorials uh, in this series we learned about ways to increase the dimensionality of our data such as that we looked into what hot encoding and how when used it creates additional features in our data set but um, higher dimensionality may not always be a good choice as it adds uh, more complexity to the problem and it might also increase the risk of overfitting and that's one of the reasons why reducing the number of features in high dimensional data can be a good practice uh, as a reminder we are following the machine learning textbook that's linked in the description which uh, for this purpose discusses three strategies for feature uh, selection and these are uh, univariate statistics model based selection and iterative uh, selection and uh, we start with the first one univariate statistics so uh, what this method basically does is to determine if there's um, a statistically significant relationship between each feature and the output or the target this is also known as uh, ANOVA or analysis of uh, variance so after the relationships have been computed uh, the features that have the highest confidence uh, with the target are those that are selected now the univariate keyword uh, simply means that each feature is considered in isolation or individually in determining its relationship with the target okay so how do we do this in scikit-learn now without getting into too many details there are two mentioned uh, methods select k best which allows you to limit your selection to a k number of features and the select percentile which uh, as you might guess allows you to uh, limit your selection to a certain percentage of the original features now as per the book we're going to use the breast cancer data set and we're going to add some noise to the data before applying the selection method so jump onto the code import numpy as np and from sklearn data sets we're gonna import load breast cancer from sklearn model selection we're gonna import train test split to split our data and from sklearn feature selection we're gonna import select percentile okay now to instantiate our data set so cancer equals load breast cancer if it were that easy in real life uh, when you have to do a lot of cleaning and pre-processing to the raw data anyway uh, now to the noise so let's say rng equals np random random state 42 and noise equals RNG normal distribution size the size is going to be the length uh, of uh, our cancer data so the features so the length of the features and 50 so we're going to have an additional of 50 noise features now let's add them to the data so let's say x with uh, noise equals nph stack so we're gonna stack cancer data and noise now let's split the data so as always x train x test y train y test equals train test split x with noise cancer target 
a random state of zero and a test size of 0.5. Now uh, we are going to apply the select percentile. So um, let's call it select equals select percentile and percentile is going to be 50 which means it will select 50% of the features. Okay, and then we're going to fit uh, it onto the data. So select.fit x train y train. And then we're going to transform the training set. So um, let's say x train selected is select transform x train. Uh, now let's see how it did by printing the shape of both X train and X train selected. So uh, print X train uh, dot shape is format X train dot shape. And for the one with uh, the select percentile applied to applied to it, so print um, x train selected dot shape is format x train selected dot shape. All right, now let's run this entire thing. So. Um, the initial number of features was uh, 80 so 30 from the original data set and the additional 50 noise features that uh, we generated and after the transformation uh, they've been reduced uh, by 50 percent or uh, to 40. Uh, now we'll stop here for now and in the next tutorial, we're going to look at exactly which features were uh, selected. And we're also going to see if this type of feature selection can improve the performance of an algorithm. Uh, because we're going to apply logistic regression to both of these data, the original and the, the selected, and see how they compare. All right, so please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this and you want to follow along with the series. Thank you for watching.